Okay, and welcome back students who are taking math for business and finance and math applications. And we're working on the chapter 7 word problems, the odd numbered problems, and we're picking up with uh, problem 7-27. Okay, it says here, Maplewood Supply received a $5,250 invoice dated 4-15-06. The 52.50 included 250 in freight. Terms were 4% 10, 3% 30, net 60. A, if Maple pays the invoice on April 27th, what will it pay? And B is, if Maplewood pays the invoice on May 21st, what will it pay? Okay, so we have an invoice of 52.50, and there's $250 in freight. We can't take a discount on freight, so we subtract it out, and we have a base price of $5,000. Now, our terms are 4% 10, 3% 30, net 60. Right, so we need to figure out what those discount periods are. So if the invoice is dated 415, and we're able to take 4% within 10 days, so we can add 10 days to that, that would give us 425 where we're able to take 4% of a discount. Now, we can take, if we don't pay within that discount period, we can take a 3% discount if we pay it within 30 days. All right, so from 415 plus 30, we can't, um, we have to be careful because we're going from one month to the next. And it just so happens April has 30 days in it, so all we need to do is just add the 30 days, um, and that would make it 515. Okay, and we can take a 33% uh, discount for that. But now the net is in 60 days. Okay, so let's go through that. So if I take 415, and I want to add 60 days, remember I can't just automatically go from uh, April to May to June 15th, right? That's not right. The reason why is in April, there's 30 days. In May, there's 31 days. I mean, I could go to June 15th if May had 30 days, okay? So I would be able to go on April 15th to May 15th to June 15th, but that's not the case. May doesn't have 30 days. May has 31 days. And because there's one extra day in May, that means we're looking at one day less in June. Okay, so it ends up being 614 because we're subtracting the one day. So if you count the 60 days from April 15th, you'll end up on June 14th. Um, you can use that exact calendar that was presented in the other videos. Um, me, I just have a tendency to just want to add the numbers. Okay, so I this ends up being 614, which is my net 60 days. Okay, now calculating the discounts and the total amount of the invoice. All right, so um, the he pays the invoice on April 27th. Right. Well, if it's the 27th of the month, okay, that falls outside of uh, April 25th, so we can't use the 4%. And of course, it's within the 3% discount period, so we can use the 3%. So $5,000, we want to know what since we want to know what it will pay. I really don't care what my discount amount is. Right. So all I, all I need to do is I could take 100% minus 3%, which gives me 97%, and multiply uh, the 5,000 by the 97%, and I end up with um, $4,850. And of course, I have to add back in the freight because I couldn't take the discount on the freight. And that gives me $5,100 is how much would be paid um, if the invoice was paid on April 27th. Okay, now, um, B, it says on May 21st. Okay, so the 21st, 
um, falls outside of the 3% discount period, okay, but it's within the 60 days, so it, it has to pay the full amount of the invoice, which means it would end up paying the full 5250. Okay, so they, that's the answer to B. Now, let's say it happened to, uh, they decided, uh, just as a theory here, let's say they decided to pay the invoice on, say, 621. Well, you know, that's going to fall outside of the net 60 period. Okay, and in this case here, they're going to end up paying the invoice, the full amount of the invoice of 5250 plus interest and penalties. Okay. All right, next slide, next problem, 7-29. Okay, M Macy's of New York sold Lee Company of Chicago office equipment with a $6,000 list price. Sale terms were 3% 10, net 30, F O B New York. Freight on board New York. Macy agreed to prepay the thirty dollar freight. Okay. So they're agreeing to prepay, but Lee Company is going to have to pay the thirty dollars in freight. Lee Company pays the invoice within the discount period. So they're paying within the, third, the discount period, so they're going to get a 3% discount. What does Lee Company pay Macy's? Well, $6,000, and if I take 100% less the 3% discount, that means that's 97%. So 97% of 6,000 is five thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars that's how much they're going to uh, Lee company is going to pay for the office equipment but since Macy agreed to prepay the thirty dollars in freight they're also going to bill the you know Lee company for the freight of the thirty dollars so the entire amount that uh, Lee company is going to have to pay because they pay within the discount period is five thousand eight hundred and twenty dollars now, the question here is, you know, it's FOB New York. So, um, and why is uh, Lee Company paying for the freight? Well, here's New York and here's Chicago, right? Remember, we're talking about the docks and we're talking about who's legal, legally responsible for the merchandise at what point in time. Well, it's telling us that it's FOB New York. So freight on board New York, meaning as soon as it gets on the truck here, right? Right. Um, who's responsible? Well, this is um, FOB shipping. Okay. And if it's FOB shipping, that means that the uh, buyer is the one that is responsible for the freight. Now, just because Macy's agreed to prepay the freight, you know, that's, you know, there, that, that happens. Um, they, you know, and regardless of whether they prepay it or not, um, Lee company would have ended up paying for the freight. And that's why it, it shows up on the invoice, um, for Lee company to be able to pay. Okay. So, just because it says maybe you know let's say it didn't say fob new york right it, it could have said fo it could have said fob shipping which is the same as fob new york but if it had said fob destination okay well then it wouldn't say you know it might not say uh it, it can't say macy's agreed to prepay the 30 dollars in freight but that's because they're, they were the ones that would be responsible for the freight, okay? But since it's FOB shipping and Macy's agreeing to prepay the freight, meaning they're paying the, the, the trucking company right at the dock, right? They have to bill 
um, the uh, uh, elite company uh, for that that amount, and that's the way it normally happens. If uh, if I'm going if I'm the buy if I'm the seller, I'm generally going to pay the freight up front as a prepayment, okay, and show that on the invoice. Um, the shipping company wants their money up front usually. It's rare to see the shipping company actually extending the credit um, to the seller or the buyer. All right. In other words, they, you know, um, they don't want to have to deal with the question of who's going to pay what from what point in time. They want generally want their money right here. And if if the agreement between the two companies is that it's FOB destination, okay. Um, you know, in that case, uh, you know, the you know, Lee company would end up paying the, the, the freight. Okay. But anyway, so I covered the FOB and it's a little confusing. Um, and I'm just going to quickly go over it again here. Because as the more I talk, the more I realize I'm making this more confusing than it actually is. Okay. So let me just cover that real quick, All right? So it says um, FOB New York, right? Which here's New York, and here's Chicago, okay? So if FOB New York, that's here, that's shipping because it's coming off of the uh, the seller's dock, okay? So that means Chicago uh, Lee Company is responsible for it, and just because. Macy's prepaid the $30 in freight kind of is irrelevant. Um, Chicago, uh, Lee Company is going to end up paying the freight because it is FOB shipping. Okay, um, It just so happens that M Macy's agreed to prepay it, and they're just going to put it on the bill anyway. And so with that said, um, I'll pick up the next problem in the next video.